Everything that thou hast brought upon us, O Lord God, thou hast done in righteousness and judgment. For we have trespassed against thee and have not obeyed thy commandments, but give glory and honor to thy name and deal with us according to the multitude of thy tender mercies. Blessed are those that are undefiled in the way and walk in the law of the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Everything that thou hast brought upon us, O Lord God, thou hast done in righteousness and judgment. For we have trespassed against thee, and have not obeyed thy commandments, but give glory and honor to thy name, and deal with us according to the multitude of thy tender mercies. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray. Almighty God, unto whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love thee and worthily magnify thy holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hear what our Lord Jesus Christ said. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, Christ have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Glory be to God on high. And on earth, peace, goodwill towards men. We praise thee, we bless thee, we worship thee, we glorify thee, we give thanks to thee for thy great glory. O Lord God, heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. Thou that takest away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. Thou that sittest at the right hand of God the Father, have mercy upon us. For thou only art holy, thou only art the Lord. Thou only, O Christ, with the Holy Ghost, art most high in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with us. Let us pray. O Almighty and most merciful God, of thy bountiful goodness, keep us, we beseech thee, from all things that may hurt us, that we, being ready both in body and soul, may cheerfully accomplish those things which thou commandest, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. See him that he walks circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Work be not unwise, but understand the world. And be not known this morning, for he is. But be filled with the Spirit, speaking to yourself in songs, hymns, and spiritual songs, and you can make a melody in your heart to the Lord. Give it thanks always to all the men, and be happy to the Father in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. 
Thanks be to God. The eyes of all wait upon thee, O Lord, and thou givest them their meat in due season. Thou openest thine hand and fillest all things living with plenteousness. <clears throat> alleluia, alleluia. O God, my heart is ready. My heart is ready. I will sing and give praise to the best member that I have. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. The Holy Gospel is written in the 22nd chapter of the Gospel according to St. Matthew, beginning at the first verse. Glory, Glory be, be to, to thee, thee, O Lord. Jesus said, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a certain king, which made a marriage for his son, and sent forth his servants to call them that were bidden to the wedding, and they would not come. Again he sent forth other servants, saying, Tell them which are bidden, Behold, I have prepared my dinner, my oxen and my fatlings are killed, and all things are ready. Come unto the marriage. But they made light of it, and went their ways one to his farm, another to his merchandise. And the remnant took his servants and entreated them spitefully and slew them. But when the king heard thereof, he was wroth, and he sent forth his armies and destroyed those murderers and burned up their city. Then he said to his servants, The wedding is ready, but they which were bidden were not worthy. Go ye therefore into the highways, and as many as ye shall find, bid to the marriage. So those servants went out into the highways and gathered together all as many as they found, both bad and good, and the wedding was furnished with guests. And when the king came in to see the guests, he saw there a man which had not on a wedding garment. And he said unto him, Friend, how camest thou in hither, not having a wedding garment? And he was speechless. Then said the king to the servants, Bind him hand and foot, and take him away, and cast him into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth, for many are called, but few are chosen. Praise, Praise be to, to thee, thee, O Christ. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things, visible and invisible, and in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of his Father before all worlds, God of God, light of light, very God of very God, begotten, not made, being of one substance with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, was incarnate by the Holy Ghost of the Virgin Mary, and was made man, and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried, and the third day he rose again, according to the scriptures, and ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of the Father, and he shall come again with glory to judge both the quick and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeded from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spake by the prophets. And I believe one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins, and I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Please be seated.
Well, I bid you all good morning and a good rain, rainy morning. Yeah, we're getting the rain. It's going to come. Announcement, all of you knows that our Sunday school is up and running at 9.15 to 10.15 every Sunday morning. For the youth, uh, 9.15 uh, in the vestry with Geeti studying St. John's Gospel. Deacon Faith is ready to, to take on beginners, and I'm uh, handling the adults down in Cannon Reed Hall. So come on to Bible study, if you will, and you're going to find out what we're teaching. Now, we still need something over $3,000 for our carpets and flooring to be renewed here in the sanctuary hall and front offices and sacristy. Um, we've received good prices on it, and we're looking at samples right now. We're getting close, so we're excited. That amount is to match the $10,000 matching gift offer that is out there ready to close the deal once we get to it. We're getting much closer. Our ACW says, get your shoe boxes. There they are uh, for Operation Christmas Child. You can fill the box with love from American Christians to children everywhere in the world. Uh, the little instructional um, pamphlet down below it tells you what to do and how to do it and what's best and what not to put in a box. So take those home. We'll be gathering them up in the first of November sometime and uh, taking them on with us. All righty. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, amen. See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. On early television, we enjoyed game shows to tell the truth, what's my line, truth or consequences. The price is right, and one of my favorites, beat the clock. Where contestants matched skills and TV butterflies against a giant wall clock that ran 60 seconds as they tried to perform something crazy with everyday items. Throw a balloon in the air, race across the stage to stack something, then get back and catch the balloon before it hit the floor. Stack four plates, that's easy, but you got to do it without your hands. At the end of the show, a man was usually covered with whipped cream, pancake batter, or spaghetti. It was funny. And when the clock ran out of time to a countdown of five, four, three, two, one, the music would play, an alarm would sound, and Bud cried out, time's up! In 1961, time was up for Beat the Clock, and we were all left to gun smoke. Life sometimes seems to last a long time. Just ask a four-year-old how long it is until Christmas, or even to next Saturday. You get to my age, and years run their course like that Beat the Clock second hand. Cannon Reed ran 98 years before his clock ran out, when for his life down here, time was up. And for him, it was probably just like a brief joyride in a plane. We have for all our lives existed in a world of time. We follow timelines. And almost everything that we know or think about is our past. Even me saying that is now past, for you, it's present. But my words are now only a reverberation in your memory. So what is time? The Bible's first words are, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. God created life, light, rather. Let there be lights in the firmament of the heavens to divide the day from the night and let them be for signs and seasons and for days and years. Time began with a huge clock in the heavens. For our earth, Two sweep hands tell the time, the sun and the moon. The sun goes around our sky once every 24 hours. That makes one day. The moon travels from new moon to quarter to full, back to quarter and to new moon, four weeks, one month. 
We travel around the sun. We mark one year. It's time again for sweaters and today for rain gear. All our past lodged in memory. We watch the scene unfold before us as the present becomes our past. Will this go on forever? It's easy to believe in endless time for it's all we've ever known. Cosmologists measure the movements of the stars and conclude the universe must be 13 and three quarter billion years old. And in only three billion more years, the Andromeda galaxy will pass right through our own Milky Way. Something to look forward to. But we don't question the existence of time. We're just watching the screen. And on our screen, the clock is going around. The clock is also running out. Five, four, three. The prophet Daniel lived 600 years before Christ. His whole career under a succession of foreign emperors. He saw future events. Daniel received a staggering vision of the coming of Messiah. He saw the end of time. Daniel was given the exact year when Jesus came into his temple in Jerusalem. The angel said, but you, go your way till the end, for you shall rest and will arise to your inheritance at the end of days. The end of days. We know there is an end of life here. People die. They enter the void in our view and leave behind a still form. St. Peter wrote by prophecy that the heavens and the earth, which are now preserved by the same word, are reserved for fire until the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. But beloved, do not forget this one thing, that with the Lord one day is as a thousand years, and a thousand years is one day. The Lord is long-suffering toward us, not willing that any should perish. This great, seemingly eternal universe was created by one word from God's lips. It exists only until God speaks judgment, and fire will consume it. I don't set my watch for Andromeda's arrival. I think it will end much sooner than that. To God, time means a very different thing than it does to Earth, to us. His timing is perfect, but it baffles us whenever we set dates. The message is there, but we only understand it when it's already happened, when it's become our past. Daniel's days and weeks were part of the record, yet no one interpreted it. No one was standing at the temple gates awaiting the king riding into town on a barrow. While we swim the river of time, we learn, we grow, and hopefully make something of this life. Things that appear foolish can be wisdom. The karate kid learned of Mr. Miyagi, wax on, wax off. If you don't understand that, you've got to watch the movie. We live in our own age, and in the mystery of time, take part in the dance. St. Paul told the wise men of Athens about God that he has made from one blood every nation of men to dwell on all the face of the earth and has determined their pre-appointed times and the boundaries of their dwellings so that they should seek the Lord in the hope that they may grope for him and find him. Though he is not far from each one of us, for in him we live, and move, and have our being. This great story is long in the telling, far-reaching in its many dramas, heroic and vill villainous acts, triumphs and defeats. But at the very center of all time comes Jesus, at the axis upon which time itself turns, stands a cross upon which a man is nailed, victory and defeat villainy and gallantry, heaven and earth, God and all evil, truth and deception, light and dark, all meet there. It's the ultimate moment. The stakes are everything. All our souls are in the balance. And he dies. 
he wins. Our bonds are broken. The enemy is crippled. Hell's foundations quiver. Heaven cries, then cheers, then sings. The temple veil is rent in twain. If there was a beginning, there is an end of time. John the Apostle was witness to it, and like Daniel, he suffered a great mental blow to see such massive, crushing, cosmic destruction. As a voice told him, seal up what the seven thunders uttered, and do not write them down. God lives forever and ever, who created heaven and the things that are in it, the earth and the things that are in it, and the sea and the things that are in it, and there should be delay no longer. But in the days of the sounding of the seventh angel, the mystery of God would be finished. Finished. It's the word Christ said on the cross. Time's up. The end. The double bar at the end of the last measure. Then silence. Then what? I was asked this week in a radio interview if the war in Israel means the end of the world. Armageddon the big one. There is no knowing. But the full biblical picture of that clock includes a complete world domination, an economic system barring some from buying even food. It is possible with time. It will come someday. This may be another rehearsal. God sends many premieres and foretastes, so we will consider the reality of an end of things before it's just too late. Time is surely running out. Jesus tells a story of a king whose son was being married and the family friends were all invited. They all RSVP'd back their intention to come. These were princes, magistrates, national leaders. The word went out to come now, it's time. But now they refused made excuses, and even beat and killed the messenger. In St. Matthew's account, he sent armies to destroy the ungrateful guests. He burned their city. You come to the dinner or else you are in real trouble. Time's up. It's not okay to wait around in your life, figuring the Lord can send you invitations forever, sweeten the deal, and you just play the coquette. I don't know. I can't decide. I'm waiting for a better offer. I, I'd be giving you everything I have, you know. What if someone else came along? No. Prince Charming is a man covered in his own blood, writhing on a column of torture, arms spread by spikes. He is not handsome. He is not rich. He doesn't have a house or a garden. He's dirt poor, disgraced, hard to look at. He extends his nail-pierced hand out to you. This one time, there may not be another time. These stakes are too high to waste time pondering other offers. There will be no other. Time revolves around this one moment in time and asks only one question. Who is Christ? It's not an intellectual question. Scholars know all about him, and they fail this exam utterly. No. What do you think of the anointed one? In your heart of hearts, is he your Lord, master, God, ruler, leader, savior, friend, and heavenly spouse? Or not? Time's running out. Decide. And then... Walk circumspectly. As Christians, we have made that decision and it's settled. Or is it? We may be kidding ourselves to have believed our Lord's words as kids and then think we can run on that force of our childlike faith until death removes us. Reconsider and renew that faith now. We were left here for something. St. Paul's word walk is a way of saying we live and pass through time, go somewhere, do things, have an effect on our world. We address our lives to God in whom we live and move and have our being. 
We walk circumspectly, not foolishly, but wisely. We redeem the time. What does that mean? Time is. In time, stuff happens. Much of it is evil, dark, false, ugly. We can hide from it or take our light out to the darkness and drive it back. We can make our lives count for something. We only have so much time to mark our world. And that mark ought to be what the Lord of Light has put in our hands. Each of us has a song to sing, a word to give, a life to use to his glory. When it's over and the curtain is falling, the sky and the stars roll up like a screen, the sea is blood red, and the earth groans its final agonies, time itself will end. That trumpet sounds, time's up. You've made your decision. Too late to choose now if your life will become a beacon, a torch burning with the light of God's spirit. When the clock runs out, where will you be? Breathless and victorious on another shore, across the finish line, panting and sweating, and happy, and bold, time's up, and we made it. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, amen. Now remember the words of the Lord Jesus, how he said, it is more blessed to give than to receive. All thanks from the leading over out of that one that we gave you. Blessed the sacrament is offered this day in the name of God. Please remember in your prayers the sick, the aged, the suffering of our fellow prisoners, our families, and friends. 
Pray especially for Andy, Louise, Danielle, Andrea, Rochelle, Steve, Lydia, who's having a heart procedure tomorrow. For Tracy, Donna, Joy, Frank, Sarah, Patty, Mark, Carol, Jim, Dennis, John, Eva, Lisa, Neil, David, Gary, and Judy. Pray for the dying. We pray for the lost and prodigals and atheists, especially Natalie, Joshua, Mark, Liz, Keith, Katie, Heidi, Bijan, Heather, Iraj, Megan, Gary, Scott, James, Imran, and for all terrorists to turn back from their dark purpose to the light of God and Christ. Pray for God's guidance. For DT and I to have the knowledge of God's will about the pilgrimage that we were in the plans and the reservation to take in March to Israel, which looks pretty much like it's a scratch right now. But uh, we have to know a little more firmly what to do about it. I have a feeling that's a conflict that's going to go on longer than that. So I pray for our discernment. In it. We pray also for God's guidance for Donald, Ross, Isaac, Julie, Andrew, Angela, Derek, and James. For the special intentions for Jamal and his family, Randy and his family, I, Eric and his family, Mooney, Dolores, Derek, and Andy, the Gogis Cafe, and for the fire, police, EMS, and dispatch, first responders, God's hand of protection and blessing upon them all. For America's return to Christ, for our Iran mission, for all the peoples of the Near East who are all suffering and uh, need God's grace and blessing. Intervention for women's resource funding for the babies born and unborn, and to know and to do God's good will. For those in armed service, especially Gavin, Douglas, Sebastian. For all travelers, that would include uh, the McKenzie's and the Talley's right now, they are all coming on the trip. And me, I'm going to be traveling to Tulsa next weekend. So the deacon's going to handle the services, and you're going to be here right in your pews. And join me. Don't let me find out you didn't make it to church. Okay. Uh, we pray for the, our children and our youth, especially the Sandy Gus and Ben of the Province of Christ the King. Now, in the birthday department, it is uh, end of the last, let's see, it's pretty much the end of October. I don't have any listed birthdays out there and birthdays to celebrate. Okay. We pray for all those in Christian marriage on their anniversary. Well, Thanksgiving. We thank God that time is not endless because there will be stuck in the same groove and the same 33 and third record going around and around and hearing the same note forever. Ouch. He sold records in the Jurassic times. Uh, yeah, records. Uh, we don't want that. We want the end of time and for the, the reset and God brings about a new heaven and a new earth. That's what we're aiming for. And that's what we know and hope for. Let us see. And then pray for the whole state of Christ. Almighty and ever living God, we want to hold the apostles. God us to make prayers and supplications and we give thanks to all men. We humbly beseech thee, most mercifully, to accept our alms of oblation, and to receive these our prayers, <clears throat> which we offer in the thy divine mercy. Be seeking thee to inspire continually the universal church with the spirit of truth, unity, and concord. And grant that all those who confess thy holy name may agree in the truth of thy holy word, and live in unity in God their love. We beseech thee also so to direct and expose the hearts of all Christian rulers, that they may truly and impartially administer justice to the punishment of wickedness and vice, <clears throat> and to the maintenance of thy true religion and virtue. Give grace, our Heavenly Father, to all bishops, especially Blair, our Archbishop, Donald and Scott, our bishops, and other ministers, especially Brian and David Deacons, that they may both by their life and doctrine set forth thy true and my dear word, and rightly and duly administer thy holy sacraments, and for thy people in thy heavenly grace, and especially to this congregation here present, that with deep thought and due reverence, 
they may hear and receive thy holy word, truly serving thee in holiness and righteousness all the days of their life. And we most humbly beseech thee of thy goodness, O Lord, to comfort and suffer all those <clears throat> who in this transitory life are in trouble, sorrow, need, sickness, or any other adversity. And we also bless thy holy name for all thy servants who part of this life and thy faith and fear. Be seeking thee to grant them continual growth in thy love and service, and to give us grace so to follow the good examples. That of them, we may be partakers of thy heavenly kingdom. Grant us, O Father, for Jesus Christ, the Savior, our only mediator and advocate. Amen. He who truly and earnestly repent you of your sins, and are in love and charity with your neighbors, and intend to lead a new life, following the commandments of God, and walking from henceforth in his holy ways. Draw near with faith and take this holy sacrament to your comfort. And make your humble confession to Almighty God, devoutly in you. Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, maker of all things, judge of all men. We acknowledge to the way of our own natural strength and wickedness. Which believe from time to time most grievously back in the by thought, word, and deed against thy divine majesty, provoking most justly thy wrath and indignation against us. We do mercy repent, and our heart will suffer for these numbers goodness. The remembrance of them is grievous on the us. The burden of them is power. Have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us, both the person of God. For thy son, our Lord Jesus Christ, say, Forgive us all of his past, and grant that we may ever hereafter serve and please thee in human life to the honor and glory of thy name. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Mighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of his great mercy hath promised forgiveness of sin to all those who with part of repentance and true faith turn unto him, have mercy upon you. Pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and bring you to everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Here we come from the words our Savior Christ said unto all who truly return to him. Come unto me, all ye that prevail and are heavy laden, and I will refresh you. So God loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son to the end, that all that believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Here also with Saint. Paul said, this is a true saying worthy of all men to be received, that Christ Jesus came into the world to save the sinners. Here also what St. John said, if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous, and he is the propitiation for our sins. The Lord be with you. And with that spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift them up unto you. Let us give thanks unto our Lord God. It is a deep and a sense to you. It is very meek and right, and our bounden duty to be sure at all times and in all places. Give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty everlasting God. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify thy glorious name, evermore praising thee, and say, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory be to thee, O Lord, most high. For it is he who cometh in the name of the Lord. Let us ask the knowledge. All glory be to thee, Almighty God, our heavenly Father. For that thou, the tender mercy, didst give thy only Son, Jesus Christ, to suffer death upon the cross for our redemption, who made there by his one oblation of himself, once offered, a full, perfect, and sufficient sacrifice, oblation and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world, and did institute and in his holy gospel command us to continue a perpetual memory of that most precious death and suffering until his coming again. For the night in which he was betrayed, he took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take, eat, this is my body, which is given to you. Do this in remembrance of me. I 
Like why is that the supper he took the cup? And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of this. For this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Do this as often as you shall drink it in remembrance of me. Wherefore, O Lord and Heavenly Father, according to the institution of thy living beloved Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, we thy humble servants do celebrate and make pure before the divine majesty, with these thy holy gifts which we now offer unto thee, the memorial of thy Son, the man of his name, having in remembrance his blessed passion, the precious death, his mighty resurrection, and glorious ascension, rendering unto thee most hearty thanks. For the innumerable benefits procured unto us by the same. And we most humbly beseech thee, O merciful Father, to hear us. And of thy almighty goodness, thou say to bless and sanctify with thy word and Holy Spirit. These are gifts and creatures of bread and wine, that we receive in them according to thy Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, holy institution, in remembrance of his death and passion. May be partaken of his most blessed body. And blood. And we earnestly desire that God will give us mercy to accept this our sacrifice of prayer and thanksgiving. Most humbly be seeking thee, grant that by the merits and death of thy Son, Jesus Christ, through faith in his blood, we and all thy holy church may obtain remission of our sins and all other benefits of his passion. And here we offer presented to thee, O Lord, ourselves, our souls and bodies. To be a reasonable, holy, and living sacrifice and a day, humbly beseeching you, that we and all others who shall be partakers of this holy communion, the word that receive the most precious body and blood of thy Son, Jesus Christ, be filled with thy grace and heaven benediction, and made one body with him who will dwell in us and we in him. And although we are unworthy for a man who has sinned to offer to thee any sacrifice, yet we beseech thee to accept this our God duty of service, not waiting our merits to pardon our offenses. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, by him and with him, in the unity of the Holy Ghost, all honor and glory be unto thee, O Father Almighty, world without end. Now the Savior Christ hath taught us to be our goal, said, Our Father, who art in thy name, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is God. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who have passed in this life. And we ask not this temptation, and deliver us from evil. Peace, the Lord be always with you. And with thy spirit. O Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us thy kingdom. We do not presume to come to this thy table, O merciful Lord, and trusting in our own righteousness. But in thy manifold and great mercy, we are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs of the thy table. But thou art the same Lord, whose property is always to have mercy. Grant us, therefore, o gracious Lord, so to the flesh of thy dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to make his blood, that our sinful bodies may be made clean by his body. Our souls walk through his most precious blood, and that we may have a more dwell in him and he in us. Amen.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him that taketh away the sins of the world. Lord, I am now joined with God, and this is my reminder. But speak the word in my salvation. Lord, I am not worthy to with God, and this is my reminder. But speak the word in my salvation. Lord, I am not worthy to with God, and this is my reminder. But speak the word in my salvation. Preserve thy body and soul unto everlasting. Jesus. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, show me. Preserve thy body and soul unto everlasting. Remember thy word and thy servant, O Lord, wherein thou hast caused me to put my trust. The same is my comfort and my pleasure. Let us pray. Almighty and ever living God, we most heartily thank thee. For the thou hast God saved to feed us, who have you to receive these holy mysteries? With the spirit of truth, the most precious body and blood of thy Son, Savior Jesus Christ. The just assure us that by thy favor and give us words. And that we are very earnest and corporal in the mystical body of our sin, which is the blessed company of all faithful people. And are also heirs through hope of thy everlasting kingdom, by the merit of his most precious death and act. We humbly beseech thee, O heavenly Father, so to assist us with thy grace, that we may continue in that holy fellowship and do all such good works that thy prepared for us to walk in. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom we be in the Holy Ghost, be all honor and glory, world and without end. Amen. May thy be in touch, O Lord, and mercifully set us free from our perverse inclinations, and make us ever to plead for thy commandments through Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. Depart in peace. Thank you. Be God. Peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of His Son Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, 
and the Holy Ghost be upon you this day and remain with you always. Amen. Let us pray. Most loving Father, you lift us up and give thanks of all things. To dread nothing but the loss of you, and cast all our care upon you. Who careth for us? Preserve us from faithless fears and worldly anxieties. Grant us no cause of this mortal life, and fight from us the light of that love which is the universe, which thou hast manifested unto us. My son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, Amen.
Thank you. 